Hello and welcome to the Good HAE Podcast, where we're taking everything over from Quill and Blade for some reason. This is uh, a non-pencil. I it was this was not my idea. I promise. Enigmatic Otaku. I was forcibly dragged into this. And I'm Flutter Priest. We're uh, creating a fake episode because we can, um, as a post uh, party thing from the January Quill and Blade. Um, podcast. So we have a very special guest with us who is very near and dear to the Quill and Blade um, people, and he goes by the name of Azerite. Uh, Azerite, um, how are you? She. 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 Oh, she. Um, Az- you Azerite, are how are you today? It. Find out how Azerite is today. Plant, plant, and plant, say hello. Well, that. Can I? Go on. I'm going to try something. Hold on. Azerath, can you launch the nukes? Azerite, not Azerite. Azerite. That, 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 wow. That. At least I got the name right. <laughs> Amon. Az- Azathoth. No. A- HP Warcraft. Don't Pencil. forget Mr. Peepers. He likes treats, too. Okay. So um, we're, we're going to go to some scheduled questions. Um, the first question comes from Crystal. And Crystal asks Azerite, um, where is Sunny? And Azerite politely re- uh, replies, uh, flying kites with me and Sandy. Right Isn't here this with nice? me. Where else? All right. So um, here's how we're going to do this. Just ask Azerite questions and we'll happily narrate it. That's how it's going to work. So um, one of the big things, um, Azerite, um, y- you are a girl mayor who likes food so can you please tell us what do you think of pancakes in fact beer tea would like to know that as well what do you think of pancakes <clears throat> uh pencil what does that right say know thyself know thy enemy a thousand pancakes a thousand satisfied hungers also i'm a girl yes i do like food i've read your book <laughs> oh <laughs> Okay. Lunatone asks, uh, what do you think of strawberries? As your right responds, uh, do you have an appointment? When I guess not. Okay, I'm out of the loop here because I haven't read any of Quill and Blade stuff. Who is Azerite? Well, Our guest. Uh, ask her. Uh, wow. Wow, so polite. Yeah. Why don't, a- why don't a- you just a- ask Azerite? Azerite, who are you? Well, you have to type it in. Senior Warrant Officer Azerite reporting for duty. I am the cutest pony ever. That's why. That's apparently why she broke up with you. Nick, yeah. If you wanted to know. Well, we were together. Yeah, apparently you guys were. Um, I... Lunatone asks Azerite, "What do you think of pineapples? Do you like them?" Aw, oh, thank you. I know I am. That's that's the response. To like I date hey! enigmatic. Hey! Wow! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Azerite has standards. Enigma, take that. Am I the high quality standards or the low quality ones? I'm going to ask Azurite. Um, Azurite, uh, what advice do you have for writers? Let me find out. How many boobs? <laughs> oh, I was booped one time today. My nose is sore. I'm picturing like a Stephen Hawking pony just typing everything down because it can't speak with their own voice. Stay in school, get lots of sleep, and get one of those typewriters that works with hooves. Oh, well, that's, that's very helpful, Azurite. Thank you. All right. Uh, I'll have a question for Azurite now. Um, Azurite, who is better, Crystal or Ansel? Oh. Hey there! <laughs> Let's find out! Are you just going to boot me or are you going to help get my wow. kite down? Wow, Ansel is kind of mean, but seriously, Crystal is kind of ditzy. Six killer, five boops way too much, and Shasta boops so very little. Mm-mm. Well, this is this is the good HIE podcast, so somebody needs to ask... Um, but as right, you like mango better, right? Oh, we have to ask our obligatory spike question. Well, I have to ask this. 
suck. Plant, plant, and plant. Say hello. Yeah. Why are you saying? Why are you saying sock? Sook. Sook. Yeah. <laughs> Bad fish, Mr. Peepers. You know you're not supposed to leave your ball. Who is best pony, uh, Azurite? I'm just here well, for the on. tweets. I'm a little overloaded at the moment. Try again in a sec. Okay, yeah, we're, we're overloaded. We've literally we're broken over. our guest. Let, let, let's, let's back off a little and... and um, Guys, this nice. might... This might be a little preemptive, but Azerite is clearly the best guest we've ever had so far. Uh, right? Azer I mean, Crystal and Ansel, they, they were nice and all, but I think Azerite takes their place as our best guest of all time. They were just so full of themselves. Right? I mean, when, I mean, anyone, when anyone opens a Patreon, I mean, it, it, it's oh. a serious problem. I'm joking. I, I I mean, when two horse people are seemingly married, you have to suspect that it's, it's a green card marriage. Oh, wow. Oh, and now oh, Azurite's posting food nice. porn. Uh, Azurite says, aw, thank you. I try to be nice. I don't have a Patreon, though. Aw. Yeah, so nice. She's so nice. Can you give us fresh pancake? Oh, look at that fresh pancake she gave us. That's oh, it's awesome. so nice. She even nice. gave you coffee. Look, she gave oh, you a little thermos a little of coffee. coffee. She came bearing gifts. Wow. We didn't bring you anything, though. I'm Aww. sorry, Azurite. We didn't mean to not bring you gifts. Oh. Well, um, no cookies? No cookies? cookies. Oh, uh -oh. Here, no. Um, I think I think I know how to handle this. Therese, go give her a cookie. Uh, that that wasn't how it works. That's not cake frosting, but she it's um it's cake frosting. So, <laughs> so Azerite, what consistency of batter and cake pancake do you think is the perfect mix? Because I like my pancake a little bit uh, battery, if you know what I mean. Well, I, I, I there we go. Azra, Azraite liked the cookies we gave her. Good. There we go. See, so um, Azraite, since 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 this is a good HA podcast, what else do we usually ask our guests? That I think it's time for questions with Vylon. Questions with Vylon. All right. So quick. Um, All right, Azraite. Let's I'm, see. I'm gonna what? go pull up some of the best of uh, Who Vylon's heard old Vylon questions. Vylon asks Azraite. Oh, guys, we <laughs> have a guest who did research on us. Oh. How considerate. Oh. So, would you a violon? I'm not, let's start with that. Would you a violon? Oh, apparently, plants say hello again. How that, that happens. Um, I think I'm going to take one of Vylon's uh, first questions for Crystal and Ansel. And see how Azer Azerite has it. All uh, right, let's see what Azerite thinks. Yeah. The first question towards Azerite uh, for for them was. Okay. What was that? You can't <laughs> prove the candy was <laughs> the already candy gone. Already gone. I like the thing, but to explain pancakes is too difficult a task for one man or even any one age. It is much better to do a little with certainty and leave the rest for others that come after you. Can I get one of my special responses? Asked BRT. I Aww, hope you have a I wonderful have a day. Wonderful... Look how sweet she is, being so nice. As right, uh, a lot of your a lot of your fans want to know, but. Can you explain the drastic decision you made in your human and equestria story? I mean, that decision that Anon made, I mean, wow. Well, apparently Azurite says that, um, you know you're not supposed to leave the bowl, so, you know. Yeah, Anon should not have left the bowl that was Earth. Clear. Okay, I see what Azurite is meaning. Yeah, there's, Anon there's a lot should of, have never, of, yeah. No, there's please, a lot Pencil. of metaphor and deeper meaning. There's a lot of, you know, symbolism in the work you're doing. <laughs> Mr. Peepers and Anon were never meant to be together, okay? I, I understand. Uh, that's a hard decision that you made, and I, I appreciate the risks you took there. And I think it paid off. I honestly do. I know some people weren't happy, but I think you. I think the risk you made paid off. I think for once, Azerite, you did your, that was your own style, and P Pencil here liked it. 
I did. I did. Sometimes you just got to stick to your guns. And if someone tells you that just because it's your style isn't a good excuse, you just push back and you say, no, this is my style and I'm going to embrace it. I think Ash Red's very good at that. I, th- I think yeah. we can all take a page from her book. Mm-hmm. Welcome to the writing workshop where we're going to analyze a story by Azurite. <laughs> oh, are we giving Azurite a reading as well? A dramatic oh, of reading? Of course. Of course. Um, all right. Azurite just needs to post her own story. If she does that, I'd be happy to give her uh, her own dramatic reading. Uh, I, w- oh, she, I expect it to be she about. She might be shy. Of course. She might be shy. We'll, we'll be gentle. You know, it can yeah, be yeah. about pancakes. It's fine. Pancakes are good. Yeah, it's fine. Oh my god. Are we actually doing this? <laughs> uh, this is just so meta right now. Be uh, somebody who has made everybody feel like a somebody. Make them a pancake. You see, that's a great start. That's a great start. As, as right, what percentage of consensual do you prefer? <laughs> the, the response is perfect. You can't prove that candy wasn't already gone. I I totally understand. Azurite has a fim really, account. I, I think that's I think that's really um, I think it's a good metaphor for uh, virginity in a sense that virginity is really not a tangible thing. Some people argue that the hymen is part of virginity, but in general, virginity is more of a, a concept that was created by the patriarchy and. Um, consent when it comes to that like if, if you take somebody's virginity consensual or no you really can't prove that their virginity was there to begin with so you're, you're talking about and using a foreign concept an abstract concept to try to prove consent or not consent i think it has to do more with uh what was said rather than what was actually done and i think that's what we need to focus on i think azure right is uh, really awesome for pointing that out but take a so- step back uh, is it is is virginity something that we should be comparing to candy? Something so sweet and, and something that should we cherish? I mean, think about it. Candy is something... I think you answered your own question. I think you answered your own question right there. I did. Really? Yeah. Huh. Yeah. So to quote Shakespeare, to consent or not consent, that is the question. Oh my gosh, Enigma, stop. This is the part of the <laughs> podcast where we beat up on Enigma. Enigma, Enigma what are you you're, doing? You're no. You're awful. Everyone hates you. Oh look at my Patreon. Even you guys. E- even our, <laughs> even our guest isn't happy with you. She yeah. Now Azurite isn't directly answering your questions. Well, Azurite did say that a breakfast is just as good or as bad as the pancakes on its plate make it. And I think what they're saying is that you are the weakest pancake on this plate, Enigma. Goodbye. <laughs> Old references. <laughs> oh, Remember this- that your smallest components. Your love for pancakes is inex- indistinguishable from your foes. That's that's something to keep in mind. We don't, we don't know one millionth of a percent about pancakes. And that's that's true too. I mean, you can't ever judge a pancake by its its cover, its outside, because just oh, because it's brown that. on the outside, it could be still doughy and uncooked on the inside. Or deep inside, if you look hard enough, there could be blueberries. Could be cream filled too. You never know. Um, also, Azurite um, Beert asks, uh, how would you motivate us? And Azurite responds, if you do, I'll buy you a cupcake. And I think that's great. Reward yourself with small things when you do something right. When you oh. do something su- successful, when you work hard, you should absolutely reward yourself with something like cupcakes. I totally agree with that. In fact, um, funny story, uh, this is the part of the podcast where I take all attention away from the guest because I'm an attention whore and yeah, yeah. talk about myself. Um, and how I sent Pencil, Cheez-Its, and Candy, so that way she can reward herself. Yeah, and I haven't used them to reward myself at all. I've just been eating them whenever I freaking feel like it. So, they're there. They're next to my bed. I can actually reach them with one arm right now. Oh, good. So. You should treat yourself. Well, there we go. Um, I have a question for how to design a, sto- a character with Anne's Anz- right. Let me say it right here. Azurite, if you were to make a pancake OC, what would you name it, and what is its backstory? Well, I think we need to ask more about this to like really clarify the question. Also, um, apparently, you can reward Azurite with candy, and treat her with ice cream, and that's uh, that's a great way of doing it too. Like, w- you can treat each other. You can go back and forth, and really, it's a give and take. That's what a relationship's all about, and Azurite seems to know that. Mister Clockerson, apparently, Mister Clockerson. Clockerson. Hmm. And something for the plant. So, 
Mr. Clockerson apparently would be the name of the Pancake OC. Oh, Mr. Pancake, unless he was um, naval, in which case he'd be Captain Pancake. Um, so <laughs> Captain Pancake. Um, that You see, that's great. There you go. And to touch back on before, we don't know almost a millionth of 1% of pancakes. I, I definitely think this OC would be those dark and mysterious kinds. Um, you know, the ones that there's so much more to learn. Or- about Captain Pancake. He stares off into the distance sometimes as he rides at the bow of his ship and just thinks and remembers. I also think that um, Mr. Pancake might be one of those random shaped pancakes where you pour the batter in like a random pattern and it just kind of becomes this weird chaotic shape that really doesn't have any form. It's just, it's a weird shape and it's always tastier because it's like pieces are thinner and it's just really nice. Would Mr. Pancake have uh, sunny side uh, eggs, sunny side up eggs as eyes and bacon's for lips? Uh, I think. So. Oh yeah, yes. But oh. all the other pancakes treated him badly. Oh, that's sad. Oh. Oh, so so he has a tragic backstory. Bacon is his first mate. Mm. He sailed the seven seas of maple syrup. That's so much fun to say. I took mate as the other definition. You know, his significant other. Uh, bacon could be. A, uh, maybe they're both. Maybe he's having. It- yeah, how dare you just automatically assume his sexual preferences, Enigma? That's right. so close-minded of you. Did, did I assume your food group? I'm sorry. You assumed my foodish. Oh my goodness! But hey, eggs are not to be trusted. Well, I, I do think that's a little um, biased of you, Azure, right? But if that's the direction you're going to go with this uh, backstory, you, I can see ways you'd back it up in the future. It's just something you have to work towards. No, no, no uh, eggs are. That's that's Captain Pancake saying that the eggs aren't to be oh, trusted. Oh, I see. So that that invokes a a character flaw. And it makes him a more in-depth character. You have to <laughs> give actually good writing advice, add flaws onto your characters, and to make them more realistic and make them more tangible. Perhaps later on in in Captain Pancake's story, he has to trust an egg with his life in order to get, get safe passages across the orange juice ocean. Well, um, also, as you're pointing out, that eggs apparently were horrible to him at the Pancake Orphanage. So oh. he has a, this is a long seated distrust that he has. And then uh, there's that issue when Mr. Pancake learns that he himself is made from partially an egg. Oh, yeah, because pancakes are made originally from eggs. So somewhere in his lineage, there was an egg. That's going to be hard for him to come to terms with. I can, I, yeah, I can see why you're setting this up to be a really large, uh, dramatic self discovery journey. Uh, right. This is a really interesting thing. And look at this. Take calculated risks. That is quite different from leaving your pancake unattended. So we're not going to see this pancake ever really be alone. This pancake is going to have a, a good safety net probably with um, Bacon as his first mate there. But what, I can see how that would work. What happens if Bacon's gone? What happens when you run out on Bacon? That's that's a good question. When, when you run out of Bacon, what what is there left? What is there left? Is Is life worth it? Mm. It seems like Mr. Clockerson's taking up Azurite's time, but that's fine. That's I think we're. Bacon um, can never be gone. Pan- can... Captain Pancake would never leave him, so they 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 are completely codependent as well. And that I can see why that's problematic, but it sounds like they are completely codependent on each other in this story. And this is exciting. You're really setting up a really interesting story for the future. San maple syrup. Uh, oh, so maple syrup is gonna ooh. Interesting. And then there will be that scene where a sausage tries to replace Mr. Bacon. Yeah, and it just doesn't work, and, and they, they have a moment of uh, crisis of faith, and then they just get over it because they realize they really have feelings for each other. Yeah. And then yeah, this, that, is, this is amazing. This will be the scene that Crystal will write for $5,000 if you go donate to her Patreon. It, Captain Pancake and Bacon realizing their true feelings for each other. And acting upon them. Exactly. Also, Captain Pancake has two cousins, Lieutenant Waffle and Petty Officer Crepe. Oh, I want to know more about Petty Officer Crepe. That seems interesting. I read that as Crepe. <laughs> and then there will, be that, <laughs> there will be that sad scene where Mr. Pancake reaches the, the, syrup, the maple syrup waterfall, but he has no one with him, no bacon to share this with. But mm. then he'll realize that maple syrup is, is, is what he's been looking for. It's what completes him as a pancake. And, you know, even even though he was lovable as a pancake, this is just going to make him a better pancake in the long run. 
Do you think so his journey gonna, is going to be worthwhile? Do you think he's going to have a tryst with sausage? I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't. I don't think he'd do. He'll that. say loyal I, to bacon. That would be a Guys, total betrayal of the character. Okay. Why am I expecting fan art of this character that we're just making up? All right. Petty Officer Crape chose not to go to the Naval Academy. He was crushed under the pressure of living up to his father's legacy. Grand Admiral Crape is of the Eighth Fleet. And no, Mr. Pancake is not that kind of pancake. I agree. I, I'm telling you, I, that would be a total betrayal of character for Mr. Pancake to go off with uh, Mr. Sausage after not after his first mate, uh, Mr. Bacon, like after they have the crisis. I think they end up together. I don't, I'm not saying a happy ending, mind you, but I do think they end up together. They find each other in their own way. Exactly. I, th I think but that's a good way of putting it. But there's that sad scene where he tries to get back with them, so he changes his shape into that of a heart. But he's like, heart no, pancake. you're not You're not the pancake I used to know. The pancake I used to know was round. Oh, man. Oh, yes, and Mr. Pancake likes sausage, but not that kind of sausage. Yeah, no, exactly. Just because, just because you're into a certain gender or a certain type of person doesn't mean that you're going to like every one of those type of people. Like, all gay people don't like every guy they come across. They have preferences. Everyone has preferences. Oh, of course. You know? Now, uh, I just had an idea for um, an alternate universe, say. Um, say down the line, say at a nice calm point in the story, um, him and Bacon go to battle. And he Against become, each other? No, no, no. With, it, with each other. Okay. With, okay, with yeah, um, maybe, say, okay. against his, his um, cousin, Lieutenant Waffle. Say some sort of... Because um, Waffles are... No, no. Waffles and eggs. Because those two do go well together. And I can see how that would be untrustworthy. Um, Are you saying that he's trying they to go to a coup? Coffee pirates. They go up against coffee pirates, as it says. Coffee pirates. Okay, so they go up against the coffee pirates, and they win the battle. But when the battle is over, Bacon goes back to Captain Pancake, and he's riddled with chocolate chips. Oh, no. Is he peppered with them? Is there no surge in your mind? My question is, he would have to recover, clearly, but would that change him as a pancake? Yeah, because because Bacon's not going to look the same or even be quite the same Bacon he knew. Is he going to be able to adapt and still accept the Bacon as he is now? Hmm. Because so I, th I think it's a good point that you need to accept people for their flaws, even as they change. No Mr. Pancake what... loves him unconditionally, so he can he can get over it. But it would be a struggle. What about so Ms... I, I can see that being a journey. What about well. Bacon though? Like that's going to be hard for Bacon. Just all of a sudden, he was a normal pancake, and now he's chocolate chips. Yeah, look at that. It's just But the chocolate chips might not define him. Either way, I think this is all very good food for thought. Screaming laughter. Oh god. So the the only one thing remains is that um will the story end with uh Mr. Pancake being alive or or is or is he going to be, you know, Will, will he be, still be strong and firm, or will he be soggy and weighed down by, by the syrup of his travels? And what and, about Mr. Bacon? He would have lost <laughs> some of his crispiness over the battles that they've gone over. Yeah, is, is, is Mr. Bacon flexible enough to bend when the situation calls for that, or will he shatter under the pressure? Hmm. They will, they will, the will to succeed is important. What's more important is the will to prepare pancakes in the face of adversity, as your right says, which I can see. Mm. I can see that, like it, it, that the, all, the overall message is that you have to persevere alongside pancakes in the face of adversity, no matter what your day is, because th that breakfast is the most important meal of the day, and you need to embrace that. I, I, and, I, and Mr. And Mr. Pank will, Mr. Pank will also learn that there are some bad eggs out there, but all not all of them are bad. Some are just hard boiled. Yes, yeah, you know, and and. Some, some of them are going to be tough cases, cases to crack, but I think it's possible. Do you think that he'll be able to travel other lands and maybe find some scotch eggs that will be able to help him through his struggles? I think scotch eggs would be a great way to help him through his troubles, but that depends on what Azurite wants to do, honestly, because th th there's so much already going on in this world, and you don't want to overextend it. I mean, there might be room for a sequel, but it sounds like um, Mr. Pancake does have a set journey that he's going to go on and a message that's going to come from it. Um mm. Will, so, will the comic relief Mr. Bagel get a spinoff? No, that... I think Mr. 
God. I think Mr. Bagel will, will probably only be like a deckhand who will come in on occasion to wisecrack. I don't think he'll really get any extra development. But I mean, it's possible. If, if Asherite wants to do that, that is entirely up to her. As the writer, she is God over this story. I mean, there will always be the people that take, you know, Mr. Bagel and Mrs. Muffin down downstairs below deck and they're going to have their own private moments. So that's never going to be touched in the canon. That's for the fans. That's in the fan fiction of Captain, oh, yeah. Captain Pancake's actual journey. It's, and, it's up to the fans to ship who they want to ship. So. What a piece of work is the pancake. How noble in reason. How infinite in faculty. In form and moving... How express and admirable, in action how like an angel, in apprehension how like a god. The beauty of the world, the paragon of breakfast. I think that is excellent. Azurite is, yeah, Azurite is a little god. Shipping is the best part of naval stories. Exactly right. I, 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 think, I think I feel comfortable now with knowing where the story is going, and I can't wait to see it. I can't wait for Azurite to write the story. This is going to be an epic, an, an, an ocean-going epic of amazing proportions, and I am thrilled to witness it. Totally. Here's one question I have, though. Yeah, later on in the story, are they? Do you think their forces are prepared enough for what lies over the horizon, known as lunch? I don't think we'll ever get that far in the story that she's planning. I think it'll just end open, open ended, with all of them driving for it together, all at once. I, I, that that would make sense. If, if I mean, if you want to give it a nice little tight bow on the ending, I suppose she she could. But that's not quite that's realistic, really though. Like, I, I, yeah, no. I expect this to go the more realistic route where, yes, everyone's gone through struggles, but life still goes on. And there's still more struggles to come, but they've all become stronger as a result. And I, I, I have a lot of faith in what Azerite's going to create here. Yeah, I, th I think she can pull this off. I, I, it's, it's really, you know, it's, it's, it's very ambitious, but I think she can pull it off. Yeah. So. I think so. Well, that thank that you, said, Azrite. yeah, thank you, Azrite. That's actually all the time we have for questions. It was wonderful to have you come in and, and talk about your story. I think we've all kind of broadened our horizons a little bit. Um, I think so, too. This is this is really impressive. Th thank you for your time, Azrite, and thanks for being a guest. I hope we didn't bother you too much, and I hope you'll join us again sometime. Um, say hi to Crystal and Ansel for us. Uh, we know how close you are with them, and they were also wonderful guests. So, yeah, they were. That said, um, this has been the Good HIE Podcast. Uh, we had a non-pencil. I'm hungry for breakfast. Enigmatic Otaku. I'm silent. having issues. I'm having issues. Just go on you me. always have issues. And Milk's asleep. And my name is Flutter Priest. Thank you. Milk was here? Yeah. So we just did an episode of the Good HIE Podcast.